Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan, and we are Grove Electric. And we are about to uh, embark on our first ever fully electric road trip. So we are in our Tesla Model 3 Trinity, and we are headed on a road trip. We are leaving at 93% state of charge because we had to run some errands before, and we are off on this rainy day. So let's see when we have to stop and charge. All right, so we've been driving now for two hours on this road trip, and the car is at around 70%, so two hours, 10% uh, per hour. That's, my, in my opinion, really good efficiency. And also been using the autopilot feature. It is a little odd when the wheel is moving and you're not moving your hand to move the wheel, but I must say it is quite relaxing and a very, very enjoyable drive on the highway. It, the car brakes and slows down as we're traveling with the cruise control, it's a really great experience. And she can tell you more about how great it is because she's been asleep the whole time. So yeah, it's extremely comfortable. And even all the potholes up here in the Northeast don't really feel them much because it's just such a smooth drive. So I would say nine out of 10 in comfort and ride quality. So it's now nine o'clock and we could have made it all the way to our destination, but you know, the internals decided that it was time to stop. So we made a stop and there was charging. So we are uh, charging right now. And man, I can't believe how stress-free this road trip has been. Everyone is always so nervous about going electric because it's, you know, you're not gonna be have a charge. You're gonna be stuck on the side of the road. No, you just plan and you know use the apps to your advantage and just go drive like this car but, i can't believe how efficient this car is I, I i'm i am astounded it is amazing and it is very efficient however having a co-pilot definitely helps the situation go faster or stays on track just because it's really difficult to look at the screen while driving on a three-lane highway going almost 80 miles an hour but at the same time, you know, it's awesome to see how efficient. I really couldn't believe that we were gonna get to our destination without charging, but so we don't have to charge again later tonight. We are just playing it safe and taking a rest right now so that we can get back on the road and get to our place safe and with at least 50%. And because we had it set to 100 from before, it said 45 minutes, but obviously I wasn't gonna charge to 100 here. So I turned it down to 80 and it was 20 minutes. So we went in, used the restroom, grabbed a snack, and we're finished up in one minute here. So ready to get back on the road. Here we are almost a minute left of our charge, but seriously, we have never gone on this road trip and spent any less than $50 on gas. But here we are at a supercharger with almost 80% charge back at just $13.25. Last night we arrived pretty late as you saw in the previous clip a rubber piece of rubber uh, potentially the mud flap off that tractor trailer hit the front of the car pulled over examined the damage literally a mile uh, before our exit so it was really hard to like take that in and realize that the car that we literally just got was now damaged and so we just got to our destination and we went to bed and uh, it's the next morning we're charging up before we go and visit family and stuff so we wanted to show some of the damage it, i can't believe it no and as mark said previously i slept like 90 percent of the time yesterday and let me tell you that woke me up from a dead sleep it was very loud and obnoxious and hit us in the front so I thought we hit a tree or a person or Mark fell asleep too but luckily he did not but unfortunately he just wasn't able to avoid the collision so let's go check that out so here is the front of Trinity and as the rubber the massive piece of rubber flew it struck the front of the vehicle and luckily it just went off and went into the highway so 
luckily no damage to the side mirror or any real damage on the front fender here. There is a little bit though on the front as it comes closer. So as you can see right here, that's all rubber scratching up the paint here as well. Then there's literally chips in the headlight encasing. So it did pretty good damage there. A pretty big gash of paint here on the uh, front fender uh, as well. So also where the fog lights are, there's damage as well. So yeah, brand new car and there's already damage to it. It's the last day of the trip and we wanted to talk a little bit about how it's been with charging and driving on the highway versus our city driving. When we left for this trip, we had about 93% battery range and on our two hour clip there, we had about 70. So that means in about two hours, we went through 10% 10 10 per hour. However, when we did our last supercharging and then we went straight onto the highway that evening, it was only an hour and a half of our trip left and we went through 30% of our battery range. That is definitely due to the fact of the higher speed driving on the highway. As some people may uh, get concerned if they're traveling and they have to stop more frequently when they're on the highway. Definitely have to stop more frequently compared to a gasoline powered vehicle. A gasoline powered vehicle is much more efficient on the highway, lower RPMs, steady cruising, rather than a electric car, which a lot of the factors are the amount of drag. And there is a significant amount of drag when you are traveling at 65, 70 miles an hour compared to in the city where you're traveling 25, 35, 40 miles an hour. So your efficiency will go down, but don't fret, there's plenty of charging. Even as we were traveling at those high rates of speeds coming up here, I realized that we really only took a half an hour more to do this trip in. So we've done this trip before in a gas vehicle, and honestly, we kind of just took the same stops we normally would have because we always have to go to the bathroom, unfortunately. So yeah, it's a good time though with charging and not having to stand at the pump that's my favorite thing honestly you can just walk up to the supercharger plug your vehicle in go take care of what you need to get a snack coffee whatever and then head back to your car and you're good to go and you don't even have to pay for it like with a card because it just hooks up to your tesla account and it charges your account there so i love the fact that people are not exchanging currency at these superchargers it's just all done automatically electronically through your account and as you're going to get a refreshment or use the restrooms, the other fun thing that I loved about this trip was that Tesla, if you if you sync it up to your watch or any other mobile device that you have, you do get notifications. So as I was, you know, in the store buying things, it said, hey, you have five minutes left. So it gives you time markers as to how much time you have left to get back out to your vehicle. A gas pump will never do that. We are finally back home. So it did take uh, two charging stops on the way, but mainly that was because we needed to use the bathroom two times. So we just pulled into areas that had charging. I must say that I wouldn't be worried about going electric and uh, having to go on a road trip and charging. It really was not inconvenient whatsoever. Now this is from the Tesla standpoint, uh, when we had the BMW i3, it definitely was slightly more difficult, but that car had significantly less range. And we never ever took it on this road trip because we knew that there was not sufficient chargers. And because of the accident, we contacted insurance and we got linked up with a Tesla certified or Tesla approved body shop. So now we are waiting on a date to bring Trinity in to get her new tattoo. face. <laughs> her tattoo taken care of. Her tattoo. Such a naughty car. <laughs> it was it was a great trip. We had a wonderful time and couldn't have been happier to uh, travel in the Tesla. So we look forward to doing many more road trips. And if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and hit that like button.
Yes, like and subscribe.